Hello and welcome to another problem solving session on factor theorem. The question says find the value of k if x minus k is a factor of fx and fx is given as x cube minus k square x plus x plus 2. Okay. So, you know, so they are, you know, anyway suggesting that factor of fx that means we have to use factor theorem and what is factor theorem guys? Factor theorem from factor theorem we can say what can we say that if ax plus b is a factor of a polynomial fx then f of minus b by a is equal to 0. Correct? This is what we have learned. Now here let's compare ax plus b. So ax plus b is a factor of is a factor of right this fx what is fx x cube minus k square x plus x plus 2 okay and uh, x a x plus b in our case is this in our case is x minus k so clearly a is 1 b is minus k so friends minus b upon a is simply k isn't it so let's check f k so if x minus k is a factor of fx which fx the given fx here then then f of k must be equal to zero so let's find out so what is f of k? f of k will be simply k cube just replace x by k. So k square times k plus k plus 2 must be 0. Now clearly k cube and k square k is k cube so gone. So this implies k is equal to minus 2. So if k is equal to minus 2 then x cube minus or x cube plus 2x square or right so you would replace k by minus 2 basically so whatever is the value so k has to be minus 2 for this particular expression to be divisible completely by ax plus b or for ax plus b to be a factor of this particular polynomial k must be equal to minus 2. Now let's look at this question it says find the values of a and b so that the polynomial fx is equal to x cube plus 10x square plus ax plus b is exactly divisible by x minus 1 as well as x minus 2. So again, we'll use factor theorem. So you can say by factor theorem, by factor theorem, what will happen? If x minus 1 is a factor of fx right then f of 1 is equal to 0 that is what we have learned right so f of 1 which should be 0 so let's put f of 1 to be 0 you know I have a you know habit of writing the general factor theorem so ax plus b divides or is a factor of fx any polynomial fx if f of minus b by a is equal to 0. This is factor theorem in nutshell. Right. So in this case, you will say, okay, where is a and b in this case? So the linear expression is linear divisor is x minus 1 in our case, see x minus 1. So if you compare this x minus 1 with our ax plus b, which is a general from theorem, general thing from theorem, then what is a? a is 1, isn't it? The coefficient of x. What is b? b is minus 1. By the constant term so minus b by a is simply 1 so hence you see directly I have written f of 1 is equal to 0 f of minus b by a must be 0 so minus b by a in this case is 1 so hence f of 1 must be 0 so time and again I am talking only in this term because this is the this one is the general form so you must remember this one rather than any specific form so for that matter tomorrow if there is another expression 3x minus 5 or 7x minus 2 whatever then you know what to do in that case right so what will be 
how to find out whether something is a factor of fx or not so in this case clearly we have to simply check f1 is 0 or not so but then it is given that x minus 1 is a factor so definitely f of 1 must be 0 so hence what is f of 1 deploy 1 in the fx that is you have to find out f1 and uh, value of fx at x equals to 1 will be simply 1 cube so replace x by 1 10 times 1 squared plus a times 1 plus b is 0 so you get a uh, yeah so hence if you simplify 1 plus 10 11 so a plus b plus 11 is 0 this is equation number 1 write it like this equation number 1 next x minus 2 is also a factor so you write since x minus 2 is a factor of fx then again what do we know f of 2 will also be 0 right so let's write f of 2 so f of 2 is 2 to the power 3 plus 10 2 square 10 times 2 square plus 2a plus b and this is also 0 so let's solve it this is 8 plus 40 10 into 2 square is 40 plus 2a plus b is 0 so that means 2a plus b plus 48 is 0 equation number 2 what was equation number 1 let's write that here a plus b plus 11 is equal to 0 okay now this is called a pair of linear equation in two variables a and b are two variables so hence many of you would have not encountered this before you might worry that how to solve this it is very simple you know you can deploy this trick lhs minus lhs is equal to rhs minus rhs so subtract these two equations that means i am doing 2 minus 1 i am subtracting second first equation from the second equation so you have to simply subtract lhs from lhs and rhs from rhs so let us subtract lhs from lhs first so 2a minus a this will become minus this will become minus so 2a minus a is a b and b will go 48 minus 11 is plus 37 and rhs minus rhs is 0 isn't it so you understood how to solve these two equations lhs minus lhs and rhs minus rhs you did and you got a plus 37 is equal to 0 so a will be clearly minus 37 right so you got a now for b you can use any of the equations to find b right so let's say we are taking 1 so a plus b plus 11 is 0 so a we just found out minus 37 plus b plus 11 is 0 so what will b be so b is equal to 37 minus 11 is equal to 26 isn't it so hence what do we get we get a is equal to minus 37 and b is equal to 26 now these are the values for the given condition to be fulfilled right so this is how factor theorem can be applied to find out different you know uh, missing coefficients in a polynomial